Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Look at this, my solar panels are finally installed. That's right, my new 5 kilowatt system is on the roof. Here's a picture of each micro inverter along the array. There's one up close. And here's a little video of uh, the micro inverters along the array on my roof. There is one of the panels up close before they were installed. There is a shot of the back of the panel. Don't often get to see a back of a solar panel. There's the junction box, that black box that sits behind the solar panel. That apparently is basically the output of the panel and it prevents the electricity from flowing back into the panels. And of course, joining it to the rest of the array or in my case, it joins to the micro inverter. There are the specs of the Trina panels which I installed on my roof. Let's have a look. So max power, 305 watts, plus or minus 3%. Max voltage, 13.2.9 volts. Max current, 9.2 amps. There we go. Trina Solar, made in China. Some more shots of my panels up close. That's a shot out of my window. That is the interface between my old panels on the right and the new panels on the left. So like I said, the left panels are the new ones from Trina and the ones on the right are LG panels installed in 2013. Look pretty similar from that shot. And there is uh, the panels facing different directions. So the panels on the right are facing northeast and the panels on the left are facing northwest. So the aim is to capture more sunlight even as it is setting, hence the west facing panels. That's the inverter box. Um, now the installers told me that inside this box is basically like a monitoring system. It's not really an inverter. It, all it does is monitor. It's connected to my Wi-Fi. Um, even if the Wi-Fi goes down, no big deal. The inverters still work. This is purely for monitoring so that I can monitor my Enphase micro inverters to make sure they're all going strong still. And also my installer SolarRay can also monitor it remotely. Uh, I guess looking at it long term, you know, just to see if any of the inverters go down, they can pick it up quickly and tell me and replace it if necessary. Alright guys, thanks for watching my new solar panels, just the physical aspect of it. Uh, I will of course update you guys with its performance. I've already had a good look at it over the last couple of days. Pretty exciting. I mean, I was living with a 3 kilowatt system before, but now it's like 8 kilowatts. I can tell you anecdotally that uh, my Powerwall 2 battery is like filling up within 1-2 to two hours over the last couple of days, whereas it used to take like all day to fill up and sometimes not even at all. So having an extra five kilowatt on top of my three kilowatt system has made a massive difference to how my battery has performed. But of course, I will keep you up to date with new performance updates over the next weeks to months. Very exciting stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care of yourselves. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!